sa gitna ng samot saring isyong ibinabato laban sa kanyang pamilya. Nananatiling matibay at may paninindigan para sa bayan. Bitbit ang mga pangakong pagbabago para sa ikabulat ng bansa. Trabaho para sa mga Pilipino. Murang kuryente. Industrialisasyon. Kalidad na edukasyon. Reforma sa iba't ibang sektor. At pagkakaisa ng sambay ng Pilipino ang sentro ng kanyang kampanya. Bilang Pangulo ng Republika ng Pilipinas, sinabi ko na ako'y tatakbo dahil ang aking layunin, ang aking ating bansa ay pagkaisa muli ang sambay ng Pilipinas. Pagandahin po natin ang ating minamahal na bansang Pilipinas sama-sama po tayong Tumatakbong Pangulo mula sa Partido Federal ng Pilipinas. Ferdinand Bongbo Marcos Jr. Mr. Marcos? Good meeting, ma'am. If this were, I've never been to a campaign rally, but uh, if this looks like it, and maybe multiplied so many times over, I can imagine the, what, do, what are you feeling? It's like euphoria, isn't it? It's, yeah, uh, it's, because it's, we're not even involved and we are feeling euphoric here. It's very <laughs> encouraging, ma'am, that's true. Okay. Uh, this is the second time uh, we are going through this, uh, but this time it will be banter, nothing aggressive nor belligerent. Uh, you have the thickest portfolio here, I like I counted yes. more than 50 pages which were submitted to the network and which were given to us. Mad so, uh, like I have 1,000 questions, but uh, <laughs> since I have three other colleagues here, uh, Maybe I'll ask something uh, 
which is right in my alley. And um, I think I have asked this also in my uh, post in the social media. And um, post-Ukraine, assuming that you have a peace agreement within the next two weeks, which is more likely, do you see a new political and economic order, but this time you have other political actors like Moscow, Beijing, and even Tehran? Yes. What's your take on that? Uh, there will be a new world order. Uh, because I have, um, uh, I think, watching Ukraine um, and seeing the developments, and which are not exactly going uh, the way of uh, that the president, President Putin, would have wanted it to. I suspect there will be domestic uh, uh, implications uh, to whatever the peace, uh, the peace agreement is going to be. I hope you are right, ma'am, that it will be done in two weeks because we are uh, the whole entire the whole entire world is suffering. Um, but there will there will be a be there will be a very big change because the uh, how do you say uh, the idea I think some of the analysts have said I don't know if you agree with this is that uh, President Putin is trying to reconstruct or recreate the Soviet Union under another uh, under another another name uh, so perhaps this was his this was his move. Uh, should he weaken as a political figure in his own country, in Russia, then uh, certainly the policy, uh, that policy of trying to gain uh, territory uh, through, our form, through whatever means, as, well, as he says, because to provide for him a buffer to NATO, whatever the reason might truly be, um, I think that will have to be uh, re-studied by Whoever will be, whoever will be, be mo will be most dominant in Russian domestic politics after Putin. Uh, so yes, I believe there will be a new world order, uh, and I think I am, I am certain that uh, Tehran and Beijing are watching very, very closely what will happen to Ukraine. There will be a ge geopolitical balance of power. It also depends on what the what the reaction of the EU uh, and the United States will be. I think the United States we can predict fairly accurately. EU is in a more difficult spot simply because they are highly dependent for their energy to Russia and how they will balance that. I, I know that the Senator, uh, that the President Biden has just signed with the EU a, 50, uh, a, 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 a deal to supply from the United States and from other countries uh, 15 billion tons of uh, gas, which will cover some of the needs of, of, of the EU. But again, uh, that's not something that can instantly be made, uh, to, 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 to instantly be applied. There will be a transition period. Uh, because it is a very large economic infrastructure that has been developed for Europe to take advantage of uh, the gas supplies out of Russia. Uh, these, yeah. are, these are all terribly large forces and inevitably will change things. Yeah, well it seems like you have a more dire scenario, uh, future scenario in mind. But um, what I have used really is the, from a content analytical perspective using events data analysis, meaning I'm paying attention to the verbs being used by the negotiators. And, that's the, and this is not Polyanish, by the way, Mr. Marcos, it's just that I feel that uh, Putin will not allow the conflict to spill over. It will encapsulate within the Ukraine, a conflict area. Yeah. And but that, yes, I still believe that 